Hey y'all. Hope all is well. We're gonna show y'all our guava tree today. Alright. Now we have two in the back, but they don't look like this one. I'm almost ashamed to show it to you. But now this one here, I can almost stick my chest out. Show it to y'all. Look at this one. I have to prop this one up. It's the first time too, folks. And I'm not a guava eater. A hot dog. I am. You never had a guava before, babe? Yeah, baby. The ones in the store don't taste right. And mm. a fella gave me one off his tree, and that's what made me decide on growing it. Because they tasted bland. I'm telling you, the best jelly is guava jelly. You know how to make that, man? No, but I'm going to figure it out. Oh. I'm, I'm going to assume it's like making regular jelly. Mm -hmm. Now, folks, look at this. There's a lot on here. It's almost all right now. Yeah, look down here. You got some more right here. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I didn't even see this. <laughs> yeah. Now, guys, one thing I do it's know about this. Looking. Yeah, it's very healthy. Is with this, I fit it compost, 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 compost. And... I don't put my shoe in <laughs> my fishing gear. Just old leaves and scraps. A handful of special fertilizer. And you too can grow it. And again, if you live in a colder climate, I'd recommend. Oh, yeah, look at this now. One of my old banana oh. peels that I threw that never made it to the ground. Now, I'm going to show y'all. See how this banana is? We gotta stop eating this stuff out of the store, folks. Look at that. Banana not supposed to do that. That's gonna make good fertilizer, though. Oh, yeah, speaking of that, a young fella reached out to me. He said, Supreme, if the food's that bad, why do you feed it to your plants? So I said, uh, I tell you what, go in your refrigerator and tell me what you see. I hold. And he read off lettuce and tomatoes and different things that his wife had in there. And I said, uh, aren't you going to eat it? He said, yeah. I said, so I'm going to feed mine to my plants, and then I'm going to eat what come off of them. But he didn't understand how the plant, just like a human being, it's going to cleanse itself, okay, through photosynthesis and things of that nature. So this is just going to go back down into the soil. It's a real banana, but it's the chemical that they're spraying on our food that's bad for us. But to use it as a fertilizer, we don't have a choice, you see? So um, anyway, guys, whatever leftovers you got, brew that stuff up, feed it to your plants, and you too can grow some guavas like Old Supreme. Yes, you can. Especially those of you who have young ones. It's an adventure, you know, it's taste, it's smell that gives us the best memories of life. Now we've had this tree for some years, but we never could do a video on it because it always got cold and snapped it back. But through the blessing of the Lord this year, everything is kicking butt. Even my wife almost all right this year. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm playing out of it. Wow, this tree looks really, really good. It does, right? Very healthy. I think you should show them the ones in the back how the difference in location, how they're looking. Yeah, that's a long walk, baby. Come on, let's go. Guys, thank you for watching. I'm going fishing. Supreme Family Garden, if I catch out, if I have good luck today, I'm gonna show you all on the camera. Give the video a thumbs up, share it with all your family members. And again, to all my sponsors, thank y'all, thank y'all, and thank y'all again. Hope somebody give me some organic spray to test it out. May God bless each and every one of you. Grow something. Make God happy. Have a great one.